In this video, we're going to look at the top 10 2021 movies based on how much product placement value they created. Love Hard featured almost 90 different brands, with 35 being mentioned in the dialogue and over 60 appearing on screen. With an audience of 95 million worldwide, Love Hard was worth $85 million in total product placement value. The most visible brand was Apple. It had almost 12 minutes of screen time in the form of iPads, MacBooks, and iPhones. AirPods could also be spotted and were mentioned. Put in your AirPods and put on some music. Some of the other most visible brands in Love Hard included Patagonia, Yuangling Beer, Shakeweight, and La Sportiva. The last Daniel Craig James Bond film had almost 50 minutes of brand screen time worth $90 million, while Omega, Toyota, Microsoft, and Land Rover were all amongst the most visible brands in No Time to Die. The biggest winners were Dell and Aston Martin. They got almost one third of the movie's product placement value between them. With an estimated 232 million viewers, Red Notice was the most watched movie of 2021. This gave the 68 brands it featured $91 million in product placement value. Red Notice showed 52 brands for a total of 28 minutes of screen time and 19 came up verbally. Mercedes-Benz was the most prominent brand overall in Red Notice, followed by Apple, Dell, Porsche, the North Face, and Microsoft. Venom 2 showcased 54 brands for 41 minutes of screen time. With the film being seen by 159 million people worldwide, it generated $95 million in total product placement value. By far, the most prominent brand in Venom Let There Be Carnage was the Detroit Lions. Tom Hardy wore the NFL team's jacket for over 8 minutes in the film, with the logo visible 87% of the time. This was the sixth most valuable placement of the year. The second most visible brand in Venom 2 was Sony. It appeared in the form of radios, TVs, a voice recorder, and phones. Other notable brands in the movie included Ford, Goldtop, Ducati, Rurock, and Apple. Despite us only accounting for its theatrical view, Spider-Man No Way Home generated $97 million in product placement value for the 85 brands it showed on screen and the 8 in the dialogue. No other brand was mentioned more than MIT, 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 which was name dropped 14 times and also appeared on screen in the form of letters, clothing, and a website. Sony was the most visible brand in Spider-Man No Way Home thanks to the use of its camcorders, TVs, and phones. Other brands that got millions of dollars in value from the latest Tom Holland Spider-Man movie included Hyundai, Asus, Chevrolet, Toyota, and Jansport. In 2021, no single brand dominated a movie quite like Nike in Space Jam A New Legacy. It got almost 75 minutes of combined screen time. Nike got 62% of the $151 million in product placement value in Space Jam 2. Enough to make it the number one product placement of the year and in concave brand tracking's historical records. In other words, Nike's placement in Space Jam 2 is arguably the most valuable of all time. Ami, the NBA, Warner Brothers, Carhartt, Bayer Dynamic, and Alienware also appeared prominently in Space Jam A New Legacy. While every other movie on this list contained at least 35 brands, The Guilty differs, featuring only 12 brands. This is because the entire film takes place in a single location, a 911 call center, which limits the diversity in brands. But those we do see get a lot of screen time. In fact, The Guilty provided two of the most valuable placements of 2021. They were for Dell and Sennheiser, who got 47.5 and $90.4 million in value respectively. This accounted for 79% of all the value in the film and was due to them both having over 40 minutes of screen time. Sennheiser got more value than Dell thanks to a higher quality of exposure in the form of a headset worn by Jake Gyllenhaal for most of the film. Other less prominent brands in the guilty included Apple, Casio, and Genovation. Overall, 113 different brands appeared in Fast and Furious 9. Dodge is by far the most visible brand in F9 and has a long history with the franchise due to its strong link with the character of Dominic Toretto. Dodge in Fast 9 was the 7th best placement of 2021 and worth almost $24 million. Other visible car brands in Fast and Furious 9 included Chevrolet, 
Jeep, Ford, Pontiac, and Toyota. In terms of non-car brands, we could find Microsoft, Dell, Tom Ford, Air Jordan, and Corona, to name just a few. Free Guy featured 117 different product placement brands more than any other 2021 film. Given the theme of the Ryan Reynolds movie, many computer brands populated it. These included Razer, Dell, HyperX, LG, and HP. But the most prominent brand, computer-related and overall, was Alienware. The Dell Technologies sub-brand had over 8 minutes of screen time. Free Guy also featured many eyewear brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Sama Eyewear, Revision, Dita, and Garrett Late. Non-eyewear or computer-related brands that got millions of dollars in value from Free Guy included Ducati, Casio, and Chevrolet. Thanks to featuring many brands for lots of screen time and having the second biggest audience of any film on this list, Don't Look Up generated $277 million in product placement value, more than any other 2021 movie. The most visible brand was Panther Vision, thanks to Timothy Chalamet wearing one of their power cap hats for almost five minutes, while Dell was the second most visible brand in Don't Look Up. These two placements were worth $22.5 and $22.2 million respectively, and were among the top 10 of the year. Alan Mickley, TCL, Leitner, Toyota, Michigan State University, Samsung, Ford, and Chevrolet completed the top 10 most prominent brands in Don't Look Up. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to see more content about product placement and entertainment, please subscribe to our channel. And you can also find out more about our methodology and our services on our website, www.concavebt.com. And please check out the rest of our series recapping product placement in 2021 films.